We think about innovation and ideas as a match between a problem and a solution. And so if you could think about along the x-axis, how novel is the solution? So is it something that's quite similar to things that we've already deployed? Or is it really, really new? So it's some transformative new material, um, you know, it's a new algorithm and what have you. So that would be the x-axis. If we think about the y-axis, we're really thinking about how new is the problem. So what are the new kinds of functionalities and challenges that we're really going to try and solve for our customer? If we're right out in the top right-hand corner, this is the sort of um, 10x that Phil talks about, we're basically often trying to develop and deploy completely new solutions to quite new problems, problems and challenges that we might never have had before. Uh, think of drone navigation, for example. We didn't know, before we had drones, we didn't know we needed to know how to navigate them. Um, but we might also be thinking, we go right back into the bottom left-hand corner about incremental, slightly new solutions to problems that we either understand very well or slightly adapted problems. And then we get all the sort of range of activities across that map in between. Lots of organizations, when they think about innovation, get quite obsessed with new solutions. So they think about this just as R&D. But what often causes big organizations, I think, to uh, stumble is when they don't recognize that there are actually also new problems and new challenges that their customers are facing and they need to match those two things together.